And just to add that um, from the followers of Taqi Adin and Nabhani that we have seen more than 23 years ago in this country, and we are in the year 2012 now, 1433 Hijriya, from the followers who used to be very ardent in spreading uh, the thicker of Hizb al-Tahrir and he was Amr Bakri Amr Bakri Muhammad and he was a person who we used to know and he would give lectures up and down the country and uh, we saw him giving a lecture in a Bellevue mosque and he said that we believe in the punishment of the grave Iman al-Khabari Laysa Iman Ihtiqadi. We believe in the punch of the grave as a news that have come to, has come to us, not as a point of belief. So they are play they play with words and they don't accept the belief of the punish of the grave because they say that these ahadith are ahad have been narrated by few narrators. We say to them that the punish of the grave is mentioned in the Quran. And Allah mentions that the people of Fir'aun that they will be punished twice. Then they will be punished with a grievous punishment referring to the hereafter. Twice they will be punished morning and evening. They will be brought to the fire. Allah already mentioned that in the Quran. And so we should not uh, we should not be of those who disbelieve in the punishment of the grave. Rather it is true and it's going to occur for those who are deserving of it. We ask, we ask Allah to protect us from it. So they have deviation in Aqidah. And Umar Bakri later actually, uh, after all the many years that he was saying that we don't believe in the punishment of the grave, then one time he surprised his followers by saying, yes, we do now. So this is their belief, it's shaky. First they don't, then they do. Because they are not established upon Quran and Sunnah and the understanding of the Salaf of Salih in the understanding of the pious predecessors. But rather their aqidah, their manhaj, their methodology is based upon what their teacher was calling to politics. And so therefore they were clumsy in in knowing the exact belief of Ahl Sunnah and Jama'ah. So they chop and change. Before they say one thing and now they say something else. We have not changed, alhamdulillah, by the blessing of Allah, by the permission of Allah, and those upon this blessed path, Quran and Sunnah ala fahm as salaf, as they saw us then, is as they see us now. Walillahi alhamd. Because we are with the ulama of Ahl al Sunnah wal Jama'ah, and they do not have ulama, they do not have scholars, and so for, uh, that's why they go astray and lead others astray. And uh, another of their followers now, because Umar Bakri, who used to call for jihad and then when he was in Lebanon in the time when the Lebanese were being uh, yani attacked by the uh, Israelis then he was trying to beg the the British ships to get back to England and Alhamdulillah they didn't let him come back here to cause more harm and confusion upon to the people and he was an individual also who used to call outright and praise the killing of innocent people, innocent women and children that were killed in the 9-11, September 11 bombings. And they considered them to be heroes, the 19 who killed the innocent people. They considered them to be heroes and they considered the suicide bombings to be allowed. And we say to them, it is haram, it is haram, it is haram. It is forbidden to kill yourself with your own hands. And it is forbidden to kill innocent women and children. It is forbidden that you kill even a non-Muslim who is who has a pact between you and him. That you have entered his country upon security, upon an amana, upon a trust. You don't go around killing innocent people. Rather, rather you should call them to Islam with beautiful preaching. And this is the way of Rasulullah Another of their followers after... Amal Bakri uh, was not allowed back into England is the 
the individual by the name of Anjum Chowdhury, who also has caused lots of problems, a lot of confusion, and many people don't actually like him because of the way he carries himself, causing more harm than good in society, such as uh, bringing about the hatred of the non-Muslims against the Muslims because of their acts, because of their lack of wisdom in stopping the funerals of those soldiers, for example, coming back from Iraq. They cause a lot of commotion and, and, and problems which only backfires against the Muslims. So these are not acts of the Muslim, and these are individuals who are followers of Taqiyadin and Nabhani, and this is why you find them void of understanding of the Quran and Sunnah in the understanding of the companions, void of actually the, the true aqidah and the manhaj, the belief and the methodology of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. So we ask Allah to protect us from the followers man, uh, who have followed Taqiyadin and Nabhani upon misguidance. We ask Allah to protect those who are duped and don't know any better to come back to the truth and leave these groups as the hadith of Hudayfa radiallahu in Sahih Bukhari where the Prophet said فَاعْتَزِلْ تِلْكَ الْفِرَقْ جَمِيعَهَا Leave all of those groups even if you were to bite upon the, the, the root of the tree while you are upon that. So leave all of these groups. There's no need for you to be a hizbi. There's no need for you to be tahriri or tabdighi or ikhwani or sururi or whatever. Be upon Quran, Sunnah, the Fahm salaf upon the understanding of the pious predecessors, this is sufficient for you. What was sufficient for them is sufficient for us. وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ شَهِيدًا And Allah is sufficient as a witness of us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.